Dr. Benton's love child on ER to being Allie McBeal's sassy lawyer roommate who slept with her former boyfriend who happens to be married. <laughs> Whatever. Here's a scene from the infamous short skirt episode of Allie McBeal. You should see the way she dresses. Who? Ling. It's like, look at my body now. But just don't talk about it. Exactly. You know, the men at the courthouse, clerks and lawyers and some of the judges even, they talk about your short skirts. They, they do? Isn't that why you wear them? No. I want them to talk about my legs. They do, don't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please welcome Lisa Nicole Carson. Very nice to meet you. And I'm so disappointed you're not singing. Well, <clears throat> next time will you sing? Next time I will definitely, definitely sing. Because you have an amazing voice. The great thing about that show is how they mix the music in it and everything. Yeah, it's that, awesome. Have you done um, Broadway? Well, I did um, one night on Broadway with a group called City Kids. I and know that group. Yeah. And um, so if you didn't catch it that night, you pretty much missed it. Because, right. Uh, <laughs> it's one night only. <laughs> I think there's some up. What's up? Yeah, the city doing? kids always yeah, here. Yeah, always here. Now listen, you're on ER, big hit show. Definitely. And they say, we want you to go do this other show. And did you think, what, am I crazy to try to leave well, that? Yeah, I mean, I, I was having a really good time on ER. I didn't want to do any more television. And um, I was up for two movies at the time. I won't name them, but I really wanted them, and I didn't get it. And um, also, Ally McBeal. And Ally McBeal was the one that came through. And um, what do you know? What a great show to be a part of. Such a great show. Such excellent, a huge hit. Excellent. And it's so much fun to watch. Oh, but did you, were you nervous about sort of removing yourself from ER? Because you were still on there as bent as, you know, you had to, and then they, you know, to go to a new show. Well, I told them that I had to go get another job. Oh, you okay, did? because ER was great, but it wasn't, you know, paying for my shoes and coats and hats <laughs> like I needed it to. So I let them know that I was going to be on the hunt for another job. And so, well, you know, that's how it goes down. And now you have to live in L.A. You like it there? I love the weather in L.A. Yeah. I love the weather. It's beautiful. It's sunny. It's warm. And you grew up here in New York? I grew up in Brooklyn. Yeah. And also spent some time in Florida, Gainesville, Florida. And you have no Brooklyn Harlem, accent. Harlem. Listen to you. you have no That's because New York. the combination of the North and the South kind of um, canceled out my accent. Uh huh. You know. Yeah. You know, unless I want to put it on, then I can. You know, I can put it on. Give me a little me. New York. Come on. Well, yeah. yeah. Come on. Give me a little New York. Come on, Lisa. Rosie. What you talking about? What are you, you talking, talking about? No, no. You always coming over here. No, you know, you you know, you come on. You say you're gonna sing. Don't even sing. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even, Rosie. Don't even. That's good. That's pretty good, isn't it? It's impressive. <laughs> now, um, you didn't have a license here in New York, because no one does, right? Hey, and look, I tried to get my driver's license when I lived in Gainesville, Florida, home of the Fighting Gators. <laughs> okay, so I tried to get, <laughs> I tried to um, get my license, but I failed the test three times. Um, the only time I remember, um, I took the test, yeah. and it was drizzling at four o'clock in the afternoon, and it always drizzled. 4 o'clock in the afternoon in Gainesville, Florida, and nobody turned on their window wipers. So, of course, when I was taking the test, I did not turn on my window wipers, and I failed. Yeah, because it's drizzling. Exactly. Yeah. And then that other thing, that left-hand signal thing, that happened one time, too. I didn't flip that when I was supposed to flip it, mm -hmm. and some other stuff happened. So I didn't get my license, and I'm not really anxious to get my license, because when I'm riding in the cars of other people in California, I see accidents all over the place. Yeah, so you'd rather one of your friends get in a wreck. Exactly. With you safely buckled in exactly. during the air exactly. front seat. Now, how do you get around there, though? You, you don't take the buses, do you? Well, I have some really nice friends, and um, I'm really close with the cab drivers there. Really? And, um, <laughs> so it works out. It works out just fine. Now, growing up in New York, did you want to be an actress always? Was that always the goal? Always, yeah. always, always. Was your family anybody into that, or were you the first one? The to first. Say? Yeah. The first. Were they encouraging your family, or not really? No, not really. I don't want to talk about it, Rosie. Okay, I'm trying all to right. Pull things out. No, actually, my family. Surprise! They're here. No, no they're, not. they're not. They're not. They're not. Okay. 
<laughs> no, my mom actually was like a full out 100% stage mother. Like she would go with me everywhere and um, really help me out. My brothers and sisters, they tolerated me. And my dad, he tolerated me too. They, they knew that I wanted to do it and they, they knew that I had some talent and yeah. just kind of like watched it evolve into, into what's happening now. Well, you're so great on the show. But you're they're really very are. supportive now. They are. They, yeah. They're very, very supportive. They call and ask you for loans, I bet now. I don't want to talk about that. Okay, let's not talk about that either, Lisa. Let's take you know? a break. Will you stay for a minute? We'll say goodbye. Yeah, yeah. All right, stay. Lisa Nicole, we'll be right back. Coming up next here on the Channel 4 News at 4 o'clock, a bizarre standoff. It's underway right now. A woman suspected in an assault is playing a waiting game with officers, as you can see, and we'll have the very latest. Plus, a woman who police say turned the Internet into a high-class call girl ring. Goes before a judge. And you can call it Bearmont as three more bears show up around a hillside community. And we're going to show you how much one woman managed to grab this during a one-minute shopping spree. It's all seconds away on the news here at 4. What will your child be doing this summer? Playing video games, hanging around the house, watching hours of TV? Want something better for them to do? Then get your child started on the Hooked on Phonics Reading Challenge and help them return to school this fall a better reader. See the improvement in just four weeks or your money back. To order, call 1-800-ABCDEFG. Must be 18 or older to call. Doesn't your child deserve to be a better reader? Give them the tools they need to read and succeed. Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. Property owners, if weeds and brush are taking over your land, at last there is a solution. The amazing DR Field and Brush Mower can reclaim overgrown parts of your property with less work than you ever dreamed possible. Now if you've ever tried to clear an overgrown field or ditch with a handheld brush cutter or a shaky sickle bar mower, you know they're exhausting to use. Take hold of a DR Field and Brush Mower though and you've got a whole different story. The DR knocks over brush and saplings up to one inch thick and chops most everything it cuts so there's no tangle of vegetation to trip over or to pick up. So why let weeds and brush take over? Call now for complete details about the amazing new DR field and brush mower. Call toll free 1-800-469-9797 for your big free package all about the amazing DR all-terrain field and brush mower plus special savings now in effect. That's 1-800-469-9797 for free DR details. Back with Lisa Nicole Carson. So Lisa, anything you can tell us about what's going to happen on Allie McBeal? Lots of fun stuff. Allie and Billy going to get together one night uh, thing? Look, I'm, I come, on. The, I, come on. Come on. Rosie. Whoa, what's up with that? Come on. Come on. on. You're come always on. pressuring me. Lisa, come, come on. on. No, no, forget about it. Just right. sit over there. Right. I'm going to talk to you. Tell everyone who's on tomorrow. Would you? Tomorrow, Tracy Ullman. Rosie's Fridge Makeover and Andrew Shoe. That's worth watching, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Hi Jennifer. Jennifer. Um, Jennifer Holiday. Hi, Hi, Jennifer. And Jennifer Holiday, too. Yeah. My agent. Oh, your agent, Jennifer. No, my old agent oh. is um, Look Andrew how they Shoe's smushed wife. us. We're all smushed in there. See? We look thinner this way, don't we? We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>